Okay, now go. What do I need to know the difference between capitalism and communism? It doesn't matter to me what this country is. I'm so tired. <laughs> no! What do you, I need to know? You, I heard you say you don't know the difference between communism and capitalism. It doesn't affect me. It affects everyone. I am the ghost of economic speech. How are you going to show me the difference between capitalism and communism? My son, I will show you the difference by showing you in depth both systems. We'll go to, we'll go to two lands communism land and capitalism land. There, you will learn the difference for yourself. Where are we at? Son, everything you see here is communism land. What are people making over there? Over there, my son, those are the potato farmers. Do they have any other choices though? Or is that, their, is that all they can do? You see, in communist land, my child, there is no choice. The state tells them what jobs they do. Some people are doctors, some are walkers, some play lacrosse for the state, others apparently worship the potato god. So what you're telling me is that if somebody wants to be a doctor and the state doesn't let them, then they can't do that? Yes, my child, because everything is for the betterment of the state and the people. Wow, that's totally different from America. Yes, it is. It is. That's why, my son, you need to know these things. This is starting to make sense now. Yes, it is. That's good. Now... And can't they see us this up close? No, my son. I'm using my magic. We can get as close as we want to observe this economic system, and they will be none the wiser. Hey, man, I, I stole this potato from the potato uh, silo. It's our... It's our private property. We've earned it. So we don't have to share it with everyone else. Did someone say... No. Stealing from the common good ice. But sir, we don't even like potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> we have had this planned out for five years. Without you, we can't run the country. I need 500 potatoes a day, every day, for the next five years. To redistribute to the populace. Who are you talking to? Shut up! Uh. I don't think that's how it should be done. No. Give me the, the potato. Look! We've got a runner! You saw a potato farm in communist land in action. You got to see all that. You got to see the demand economy. How the potato farmers had no choice in what they did. How all those prices did not fluctuate at all. Yeah, they had to sell those potatoes to the same price for five years, and they had to make the same amount, too. Yeah, they did. Now, one thing in the future that that will cause they're, they may run into a shortage of potatoes at one point. Right. Or, what I personally feel, they'll have a very big surplus. They won't be able to get rid of it because they can't adjust their prices. Yeah, and maybe some people demand. can't afford it too. True. True. See, my son, you're learning. I'm so proud. Son, 
We are in capitalism land now. What's over there? Over there, some, well, it looks like some fine young entrepreneurs selling baseball bats and baseball bat accessories. And, like, how is it different than communism here? Here, those entrepreneurs themselves decide what they do. The state does not require them to do anything. All the state does is level the playing field. Then they let the entrepreneurs take it from there. Look, 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 son. We may, we may get to see it here now. Excuse me, sir. How much for this bag? That'll run you about uh, 13 <laughs> silver pieces. Fair enough. It's yours. Have a nice day. Excuse me, sir. Another bat. Oh. Twenty silver pieces. How much do you sell the bats for? I'll give you this bat for fifteen silver pieces. Very good. Oh yeah. What do you think? Son, you're looking at the free market in action right here. They're competing with each other to lower their prices to attract consumers to attract consumers, increasing the demand by increasing the supply. Oh, I see. And lowering the price. It makes him more willing to buy more baseball bats right. if they lower the price. Hey, hey you, you what? wanna buy another bat? Um, sure, how much? 12 silver this time. I'll sell you this one for 10. Uh, uh, no, I'll, I'll sell you this one for nine. Eight shekels for this, and you get an ice scraper. It, five, five for this, and I'll throw in this can of spray. You'll smell nice. No, the girls no. will love you. Three shekels, with the ice scraper as well. If you want the bat, you can get it for another shekel. So it's total four for all of this. Too good of an offer to refuse. <laughs> Well, now, my son, it it looks like they're coming to an agreement of some sorts. It's, they're agreeing to set the price to a fixed rate, no matter what, so that the buyer always has to pay that amount. Isn't that illegal? Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. I don't think they're allowed to do that. Interesting. The, the government should probably step in here. Right. Keep that level playing field. And keep it a capitalism government. That's what I like to hear, my boy. Hey, wait. We need to stop this. Why? I got the sale. Yeah, but I know you didn't make any money on that. I mean, you're kind of right about that. Look, how about we just sell it for 10? You know what? Deal. Let's do that. No one loses any money. There we go. Well, boys, I'm looking for a new baseball bat. How much? Ten. Mm -hmm. And you? Same here. Uh, but I don't have ten. Sorry, you can't go anywhere else if you want a bat. Well, there is. Yeah. Where else are you going to go? You got to see a capitalist economy in work, in motion. You got to see the fluctuating prices, the market economy, how the buyer chooses, supply and demand. You got to see all of that. You right. understand more now. So. so you're saying everything is based on prices? Everything. The entire economy is based on price. If the price goes up, demand will go down. If the price drops, as you saw, demand increases. And then he wants to buy more bats. Yes, so he bought more bats for less. It's not something that the law of diminishing marginal utility. He had to offer him a better deal. 
get him to buy more vats because he already right. had like three. Until they made that illegal deal. But. Yes, that, that was absolutely illegal. Right. That shouldn't, we're going to hope the capitalist government comes in and fixes that. But time will tell my son. Time will tell. Today. That's what I like to hear, my son. You now know all you need to know about capitalism and communism. So you yourself can make informed decisions. Wow, I thank you. No problem. Now, it is time for me to return home. I'm gonna bring it in. Regardless of who he was, I learned a lot about economics. I've learned to care about capitalism and communism now. Thank you.